Hello everybody, Rockstar Monkey here playing Final Fantasy XV and I think, I really think this time I am right when I say that we are going to come to the end of whatever this place has in store for us. Let's go through. Kill that Fova thing which I assume that they seem to Im imply was the Emperor. One hell of a hangar. Huh, look at all this space. So oh, the central okay. elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. I'm pretty sure something's coming through there. Your majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. What is that? Travis. Kill me. End it. Uh sure. Is that Ravus? Or what's left of him? Okay, uh let's use some magic. Why not? Gear. Let's replace this with Tempt. I'll keep both on it. I think the fire was a bad idea. Get back. My driver Sunny feels so huge. Okay, let's let's do it. Yeah. 
I think. I'm alive, I'm alive. The sorry end for the high commander. For anyone. He was a man oh, with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Damn fiend Look alive! Hardened. Company! I bet him. Uh, you should be able to handle this, right? Ah, uh, these. Ah, uh, there's a these. Okay. Saw that coming. Go, let's go. Do you suppose your dear friends are still alive? Yeah, I know they are. Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? They thought, oh my god, Arden is a real asshole. Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. What do you even have against me, dude? I'm just a poor boy. How far does this go? The crystal had better be here. Oh, I see. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Why are you talking to yourself? <laughs> I guess I'm talking to Your myself. journey is over, Noct. I bet this is a trap. Like this unlocks some shit that Arden wants. It's always pretending that he doesn't want you to do something. Ha! <laughs> 
unharmed by the light of the chosen king. Allow me to regale you with a tale in an age long past. An incurable scourge ravaged mankind. A tiny menace that twisted men into monsters the likes of which you've seen. Elusive lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons. Countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one not chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name this linear was. Not killing you as a mortal will bring me sleep satisfaction. Playing the crystal's power, arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are no more. I shall keep your friends covered until you What does this mean? Does it mean that Arden somehow saved the world before by absorbing all the demons within him? As it was somehow ostracized? And he was from Lucis. Somehow, I think I'm supposed to recognize that name. Oh, what's going on? Not this. <laughs> I thought this was ending, but apparently not. Is this the end of the chapter? Oh shit! It's Bahamut. Can the 
mortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. Man, so many things. A man cursed with life eternal, whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection. Let the light of providence shine within. I'm so confused. If Adam wanted me to get to a crystal, why didn't he just let me? Why did he have to make my life so difficult? Did he age? Oh my god, what is happening? Did it just like take many many years for him to do that? Oh shit, so many questions. Alright, um, coming to 20 minutes of this episode, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching, this has <laughs> definitely been a very revealing, crazy episode, but uh... We're moving the story along. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time, this Rockstar Monkey signing off and goodbye.